Hello, my name is Bo Iversen. Among other things, I am an EMS uh, physician. Um, I'm going to present to you a feasibility study, which is called Introducing Pre-Charts in the Pre-Hospital Setting. And the reason why you should listen now is I'm going to present to you a, a procedure change that can reduce the procedure time during defibrillation with up to 67%. Pre-charge. Pre-charge is charging the defibrillator prior to rhythm analysis. It is simple, but until recently our standard procedure while defibrillating was uh, consisting of three sections. The first was a hands-off period analyzing the cardiac rhythm. The second was charging the defibrillator while giving chest compressions. And the third was supplying the shock. With pre-charge, we can actually reduce hands-off periods from two to one. And during our training in this procedure, we showed that our defibrillation procedure time could be reducted from 12 seconds to 4 seconds. What we wanted to show with this study, or examine with this, in this study, was can EMS physicians adapt to pre-charge? We uh, are having annually training days for our EMS physicians, and at these days we introduced the EMS physicians to the change of procedure. It was a very short lecture uh, consisting of a theoretical talk and the practical showing of how to use the defibrillator in this pre-charge manner. We had, uh, after that, we took our EMS uh, physicians through uh, cardiac arrest simulation scenarios and um, during this training we, we evaluated whether they could use the procedure correctly. And we found that out of 99 sessions, in 95 of these, the pre-charge procedure was used in a correct and efficient manner. So, the answer to the question is, yes, EMS physicians can adapt to pre-charge. The second question that we thought of was, is pre-charge safe? And at the same training days, we evaluated our physicians whether they supplied the shock in a very safe manner without uh, putting anybody at the team at risk when supplying the shock. And we found that in 98 out of 99 cases, the shock was provided safely. So, pre-charge is safe. And now, the million dollar question. Can pre-charge save lives. From my opinion, this is the best change we've made in our treatment of cardiac arrests for many years. The perspectives are great. Until now, we've managed to introduce this change in the entire EMS service in Denmark. And I am looking forward to see that our colleagues uh, for example, in the Scandinavian countries, are turning to this procedure as well in the EMS services. And uh, here in Denmark, uh, right now, um, the in-hospital personnel are looking into whether this procedure change should be implemented in hospitality as well. We are looking at data uh, in a before and after study and we are positive that we can show that this change of procedure can reduce uh, the defibrillation procedure time and we hope to see that this can have a positive uh, effect on patient outcome as well. So, the answer to the million dollar question, can pre-charts -save, pre save lives, is inspired by a very famous company which is situated here in the wonderful city of Copenhagen, probably. Thank you very much for listening.